to be a warrior class. Welcome to warrior class. Where the teachers will pass. And you will too, if you pass. Now, we're about to get into it. Warrior class, canes, ain't just made for walking, right? Um, we discovered that long time ago. And, and so we want to share with you all what we know. But first, we want to give a moment of silence <laughs> for let's, dear Lizzie. Let's, let's wait. Let's wait for a minute. We want more people to come in. Okay. Let's we'll give, we'll you, give you all some time to uh, let folks know. Share the broadcast. Well, you see the share they're somebody. probably slow coming in because they're sad about I know. It's, it's a lot of people moping. It's a lot of people moping. Let me go yeah. to our, our online service right here. Okay, here we go. Boom. Let me like our like our page so please if you can share a yapu yapu appreciate you being yapu, here yapu. like share subscribe everybody you. yeah let people know uh you can take it you see the share button at the drop right down, down the bottom you should hit that you put it on your social media let them know we're here and we are live this could be very useful here this is not just for um elderly people uh the show is not just for seniors because um Shoot, I needed a cane a couple of days ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know when you may be in a situation. A lot of times people walk. They um, they use sticks when they're walking. So this could be useful anytime. Or you just may not have anything available but a stick or a cane or something like that. So Or umbrella. They're, now, they're, uh, a lot of times people, so people, when, when, you, when you're dealing with tools, or whatever people will say well i don't carry that tool so i don't need you use something either that tool or something similar much more than you even realize okay um we're talking african you're well african a lot of times use a walking stick in fact people in america trying to be fly while they're wearing african clothes they for some reason have a, a walking stick too, because mm-hmm. that's not considered fly gear <laughs> in, in in African countries. I just realized that is a thing when they get real dressed. Yeah. Folks that get that, dressed but that, up, that's that's Western be- because Western you wear you know your suit like in Europe and yeah. they got the walking cane. So that's not African, y'all. Just so you know. Good point. Good uh, that's point. that's that's still a very Western thing, but you see people with with, with walking sticks. In Africa, they're, they're they're usually elders, but you don't have to be. And when we talk about elders, I don't want you to think this is self defense for elders. Even when I teach our elders, because I'm a young elder, right? People say elder, but um, when I teach people in you know, over 50, uh, they're seasoned athletes, not old folk. Right. Because they're thinking like old folk, oh, I'm too sore to do that. I was teaching one class and sister tell me, oh, my back too sore. I can't do that. I said, well, we'll give you something else. My my back gonna be too sore, my legs too sore to do it. Mm-hmm. But why are you here then? <laughs> to be honest, would you want we want us to just right? I can't, I can't, I can't magically heal you. Right, you can't walk I can give you. you what you what I can give you, and then you can make adjustments. But I'm not going to allow you to give up on yourself. When we first came in in, in here, when, when we first started with uh, Remix Morning Show, people, I, I'm too big to do that. My I, my arm hurts too much to do that. So I wrote the book, Alaba Lache, to show you that if you're differently able, not disabled, you're differently able, you can do a lot more than you're giving yourself credit for. You can find that book on Amazon right now, Alaba Lache. And you can. Alaba Lache, uh, uh, African Warrior's Guide to the Differently Abled, I believe that's what it's called. Exactly. Uh, 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 Yapa says, right now my neighbor, a young man, hurt his knee. See, I'm a young man hurt my knee. He's using a walking stick right now. We all may need one every now and then. Exactly. Right. And at that point, you can feel vulnerable. 
And see, that's the thing. I well, was, crutches. I said I was teaching class. Student. She's sizable. You know, she's five eleven. She at the time weighed a, probably about uh, seven hundred eighty-eight pounds, something like that. I gave her real weight this time. I, I it, it's a running thing where I, I increase her weight as we go, but uh, no, no, no disrespect to people who are, are right, right, larger. Right. It was just a running joke about her, but she was about at that time about seven hundred eighty-eight, but literally close to eight hundred pounds. So she fell on my leg, and my ankle twisted up where I could see the bottom of my foot while I'm standing. Lord, yeah, Lord. It, it was. And so, oh, they take me to the hospital. It might hurt a little bit. My knee just started hurting. <laughs> they take me to the hospital, and the hospital, of course, uh, uh, we don't have any. Why the hospital didn't? We don't have any crutches. But that's what you need. <laughs> I said, then why tell me? Y'all better go buy me some or something. Did you go to Grady? Were you <laughs> no, no. I went to, I, I better not name them. Yeah, I, I will name them. It, it was uh, Atlanta Medical. But they used to be called something else when I first moved to Atlanta. They were custom like him. Yeah, so the Atlanta Medical. Wow. Don't don't go. <laughs> so when I left there, and Grady probably been worse. But Grady still would have had crutches, though. Stitches, at least. But we, we ain't got nothing. Right. So <laughs> I had to go to Walmart. My student got me crutches there. That's crazy. And so you had to, I had to use crutches just in case, you know. Um, and I had developed a way to defend myself with crutches when I was 11. Uh, left leg separated, the bottom leg separated from the top. My foot was turned backwards. I was, it was, it was a, tra- a devastating, traumatic accident, right? Wow. So I created uh, a martial art where I could move on my crutches. Fight and all that, you know, and uh, my mother and father said, "Boy, you, you lost it because I, you know, I'm doing." I'm saying, "Well, Dad, you know, I'm, I'm taking capoeira, so I'm doing like capoeira. I'm taking capoeira's uh, movements. So I'm using this crutch like my hands, and I'm using at eleven. Mm-hmm. I said, and I'm using our uh, from Lamba um, and the kicking from Kili Jawaro to." Be able to throw, be able to kick, and I'm I'm all up in the air because I'm envisioning myself doing capoeira. My mother said, "Well, you you you'll do that until you fall." <laughs> One time, <laughs> that's right. That fight over, and I'm doing it on the steps. Yeah, like 15 oh, steps going up. And so I was wild with it, but it just let me know then that you know these things. Any you may have to use a stick type, crutch type, cane type tool at any time, and what I was gonna, what I was saying earlier, what I was mentioning African. What another thing about it, Africans is we use imp- we improvise when it comes to using tools. That's one thing about teachers. And um, matter of fact, I believe you have a book on improvised weapons. Yes. What is that book called? Never unarmed. Never unarmed. I think I'm gonna have it. <laughs> but uh, uh, and, and we we improvise. Y'all know that everything that's flat is a table to black folk. That's what we do. We improvise. So yeah, I train with. The same thing I do with this, that's why we hold on. And that's another reason why we punch like this. I right? can hold the knife, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So we always ready to use whatever's around us to protect us. And that's what that's basically what this is on the on the lines of, of getting to. So my computer. Uh you be my, my computer? wife's computer. You can, but I, <laughs> you know, you ain't gonna be able to use that money anymore. But my, my wife's computer just once. How about get the book? Now, you talking about the improviser. All those Bible books are They're on, on Amazon. Amazon. You can find all this book. Not trying to sell. No, it's not bad. Like, on Amazon. Right, right. Uh, but, you know, the, so my my own computer has the, the CPU that's separate, right? Right. It's right. flat right here. I have to always tell my wife and my children, uh, that's not a table. Oh, right. Oh, my PC so upstairs, I got a CD stack that I had to clear off. <laughs> Anything flat. We improvise. I came in the house one time. My wife on the computer, on my computer, uh, got a sandwich. On the, I said, "Hey, get the sandwich off my CPU." Hey, if you don't use a chair in your, in your house, <laughs> it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna turn into a table, man. Right. We 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 improvised. We were the first MacGyvers. Well, well. So, so look, now that y'all in the in the chat, now that everybody's getting in, people starting to come in. Um, please share everything. Uh, I think we want to we want to start get started. Uh, Bobby, you, you, you want to have a quick news yeah. so we know. Uh, so quick news, starting off the quick news. A moment of silence for uh, Lizzie. Lizzie's in the box. 
And we're going to give a moment of silence for old Lizzie as she sits in the box. Poor Lizzie. Lizzie's in a box. Lizzie's in a box. People celebrating all over the planet about Queen Elizabeth being in the box. Um, the reason why people say those harsh people, get out of here. Queen Under Queen Elizabeth, the UK has done so much heinous shit. Bro. That it, it it would take two shows to even right. touch the surface of what she's done. Y'all smart so, people, y'all can look it up. Right. I'll say this is the only, this is a representation of who she is. And this is all I'll say. Her the emblem that she used to wear right here on her on, close to her heart. Uh -huh. That's the emblem of the white man with his foot on the on the moor in right, England. Yeah. That. It, you watch close. You can close up zoom into that. That's what it is. So the, uh, on her on her crown. That that big diamond, right? That's taken from Africa. Taken from yes, Africa. and they yes. talking about it was a gift after they <laughs> killed Africans. It's like we, they gave us a gift, you know, because we you know beat who when they beat your ass, you give them a gift. So you know, it's poisoning. So we don't care about the queen, you know. I do have another piece of uh, uh, news, man, and this I'm gonna try to make she rest in pieces. Yes, Eugene, man. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna try to tread lightly on this one. May she rest in pieces. Because this is touches this touches me. I know the queen touches me deeply, her passing, but she, she probably was touching like <laughs> she probably was. But something else really has been touch touching my soul. And I'm gonna mention this slowly and I'm gonna try to get off of it. This hip hop thing. Uh, oh no, you're attacking hip hop? No, I'm not attacking hip hop, but it's just been this thing oh, lately man. with um where hip hop originated from. It's been this argument inside of hip hop. And I'm going, I'm not gonna stay on this, you know. I, we both love hip hop, you know what I'm saying, and everything. But um, I heard Busta Rhymes talking about saying. Now you talking about rap? Yes. Okay, because hip hop is you know. Right, hip hop is graffiti, break dancing, right? MCing, DJing. Um, it's 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 elements. It's five elements. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's five elements. Five too. pillars. They call it. Yeah. Right. So he was talking about. He was just loosely talking about. African American, you know he's Trinidad. He's he's from Trinidad or whatever. Buster. No, is he from Trinidad or from? I know he's Caribbean, but I'm not sure. Really, Buster? Yeah, yeah. He's never embraced it, mm. but he's well. His, he, his his ancestors, well, not from there. Like his near ancestors, like family members, are from some island. I think it's West Indies. I'm not sure. Well, what West it is. Indies is you know that's Jamaica. That's I can't. It's somewhere. Well, I'm not. I don't want to miss. Probably. I don't want to miss. You know what I'm saying? But he's definitely from. Carib he's definitely Caribbean of some some sort, and he was just having it's just like his interview, like you know, you know, black people in America don't have any culture. You know, what I'm saying that um, hip hop came from you know the West Indies or somewhere. He was saying and that um, you know that's where his you know uh, he oh, give his talents. So something he was loosely saying that you know, and I was just thinking about the fact that okay. He said we ain't got no culture. He's saying that you know, hip hop didn't originate with African Americans in America. That you know that. Well, actually, it didn't. And it, didn't it, came, it didn't come from Caribbeans either. No, it came. The reason from, why they have it is yes, it comes from the continent, right? Because and, because in in West Africa, and I'm sure in other places too, they have uh, the Ijala artists. Thank you, Bob. And those are Ogun artists who rhyme basically uh, and they, they basically compete against each other for who can big up Ogun, the god of war mm -hmm. the best right and um and, and there's a sister uh and maybe put the link in later uh, a famous ijala artist uh she's coding you all probably since she got an afro uh short sister and she's oh go she's she's she goes through the whole thing right mm -hmm. at the end she ends with oh go 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 which is saying oh go is not not smiling at all said don't play with oh mm -hmm. because oh is not smiling at all right and so she's saying all these things these dope things about oh mm -hmm. and that's what they do um and that's where it comes from so the they, they use uh often they use a nasal tone right so when you hear like uh even the dances though when you hear from from the east coast right them rapping um 
that like Eze from you West know. Coast. I mean West Coast. Excuse me. Yeah, you, you hear him with that nasal voice. Mm -hmm. Shit, you hear from from the East Coast Cypress Hill. That's West Coast too. Cypress oh, yeah. Hill. You know the, that nasal tone. That's straight up from these Jala artists. I think. So, um, I think he might be a little twisted because a lot of slaves were came to the islands. And so maybe because enslaved Africans, yeah. right? A lot of enslaved Africans came to the island. So maybe, maybe that's what he means. I mean, they still enslaved Africans, right? But my point is, bro, like, don't be so quick to separate us, man. One and two, man, you know, I don't like when people embrace your culture, but don't all of a sudden start dissing the people who supported you and brought you here. Because just real quick on bust, I just because I, I won't be able to say this to another audience like this. I just want to say you, you dissing us, and I don't. I remember your album, your first album, your second. Everybody from the Lisa New School are Caribbean. Where was the patois? Where was any of those songs on the album? They didn't do it. They never did it. They did African American. They did hip hop because they were embarrassed. They could vernacular and everything. Because back then, if you got Joan and stuff, if you was anything but a nigga so-called you know what i'm saying it was all this african booty scratch stuff that was all european uh, mindset uh, although he uh in that i mean he put you know the nerd shit in the when he was at least in new school and that uh rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon yeah he had it in him you and you would have to know so that's from dungeons and dragons but dungeons and dragons at that time was so popular yeah. everybody knew it didn't matter how good you supposedly were so i just you know I just had a real issue with that, man. If you ever get the chance to see that interview, and um, even I posted where it was at, I think it was the 1920s, where they had, um, where we were here in America break dancing. Then a lot of people don't know that because they think it came from kung fu or you know watching kung fu. Theater. That's weird. Man. Yeah. So I, well, I know. So they'll they'll say up rock uh, came from the mar Chinese martial arts, right? Mm -hmm. That's a lie, right? Because movements in up rock. That, that's that's a real similar to, to stuff we do by right, right. hands, and you even see that kind of thing in capoeira. Definitely. So I didn't want. I, I just had to take time out to address that because I am a deep. Uh, I have a deep love and passion for hip hop, and I have to defend it at all co uh, all costs. So let's get back to the subject. Um, we're gonna right. get right into it. So yeah, we're gonna get into uh, with the walking cane. Well, canes and walking sticks, all right. So can you hand me a walking stick over there real quick? I will, sir. And hand me that, that shorter stick behind it, too. Okay. We also have we got your stick, too, the big, the thicker one, if you want to see that one. So now a walking stick is normally a uh, cane, rather, it's, it's normally about three feet to this before a really short person. I would need something up to about four and a half, five feet. That's almost someone's cane, right? There. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. Yeah, I'm almost someone. No, Kunle or, or actually, or Kalanji would use this one. <laughs> but Kunle may be too tall, maybe over his eyebrow. <laughs> so that's you know, it can't hard to get the whole thing in the thing, but that's that's you know, I want to hit you with it. Now, this is a walking stick, and this walking stick here was a gift from Mama G, Dr. Jermon Miller. They call her Mama G or E.I. Ascari. Peace, Mama uh, she's G. In, out there. She's in, yeah, shout out to Mama G. She's in South Carolina we love her. teaching the African martial arts out there. Um, this is a gift she gave me when she came to Atlanta. Okay. So this is my walking stick. All right. Um, you in Atlanta, you'll see a lot of folks walking around with walking stick, chewing a, a piece of licorice stick in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Not licorice like the candy liquor, but the right. actual licorice stick in their mouth, which raises your blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, do not chew that stick. Right. Chew yellow root and stick. And um, they'll have that stick. They have on sandals, and they usually got locks. <laughs> um, they smoke a lot of weed. Not just your, your regular smoking weed. They smoke a lot of weed. Um, and they usually, they all think they know Capoeira, but 
usually not to a high level. Okay. So this is what they should be using because they're not going to. And if you put this down to do copware, you need your ass whooped anyway. <laughs> ah, and you start copware and put, putting both hands on the ground. Right. When you, you had hand. this tool in your hand to defend yourself. But so just talking some common sense right there. All right. So this is. This here, the reason why, not from an African standpoint, why it's uneven. You want an uneven stick if you have a walking stick. Because a lot of the strikes we use, if it's a straight stick, it hits with so much power, the friction would burn your hand up. So the reason why traditionally the African uses the uneven stick as they strike, then the... Uh, Friction, the heat from that is, is is dispersed. It doesn't burn your hand up. But if it's a straight stick, it will burn the hell out your hand uh, when you try to use it. Trent, Trenchy Garvin. Trent C. Brother Keenan Booker. Oh, what I just did. Oh, oh, you, you hit the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, this is the right thing. Okay. I just want to say Europeans have never really created anything that I know of pretty much. Kicked out of heaven suggests with evidence that rap began with European crooks and criminals. Yeah, uh, well, they have created things, but um, most of them, you know, they, they end up like uh, end up killing folks from using it or whatever, even they try and do good. Yeah, I just don't. Yeah. What, so, what kind of culture? But as far as when you talk about definitely with rap and stuff, uh, they may say that just like some white folks try to take credit for the blues. <laughs> I have a story called Black Powder about that, where it's just this piano man, Black Powder, they come to see him play, right? And it's this person who says, you know, uh, black powder, you know, a, a white guy. Um, the blues actually comes from, and I, I give the, where the blues, the white version of where the blues comes from. And black powder starts playing, and then he start. He says, no, it actually comes from Africa, and he starts playing this song called Foro Bana. Mm. And in the song, so I usually when I when I read it, I have people do Foro Bana with me, right? And so in his make nabila, make ki kanabila, poro bana, poro bana, ie mad. And so when you hear it done, you're hearing all these different blues riffs. And this is a traditional song, you know, about a marriage. Okay. Uh, and so in the in the story I wrote, he does that song, and uh after he finishes. Well, I, I won't tell you, but certain powerful spiritual things happen, okay, just so you know, in that story. So it's called Black Powder. If you find that, you can find it out on the internet somewhere. What, what form of music did um, have Europeans created? Um, Baroque music. What's Baroque? Well, I, I posted it uh, when, you, when you hear it. Like, I posted all of Dr. Dre's songs done in Baroque. <laughs> like from the 1400s and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Yeah, yeah. I ain't even sure. I don't. I ain't even sure about that. I ain't even sure. So I, to say that, well, the reason why you know that, so because it has in a lot of no, so in a lot of in a lot of continental African cultures, high pitched sounds are taboo. Mm. So they consider. Destructive, I should say, not very taboo, but it's considered destructive. So mm. that's why you, you don't hear the instrument scream, that screechy scream. Now I played the violin, but hey, scream, it certainly wasn't taught by no African either. Mm. But so for them, that's like ah, right. That's why you hear their sounds are more uh, deep, like the drum, even their their uh, the chora, which plays. It makes sense because they are more guttural. And our voices, yeah, yeah. All, all our voices. Got the, oh boy, I love, I, I, I love continental African. I have to take, voices. I have to take my my bass out when I talk to people. You know, what I'm saying ah. time at the workplace. Yeah, some people do they don't that. Like, they don't like all yeah. that. You know what I, mean? I love my, my <laughs> wife's voice, her mama's voice. Just, they got these uh, deep voices in job. Most of my daughters, uh, one of my daughters' voice so deep, a couple of them, but one of them, we were doing an audio play. And she's playing the role of this one dude's father. And you wouldn't know <laughs> listening that that wasn't a, a dude. It was hilarious. That's funny. Right? But, and, 
and everybody like, damn, who is that dude? He hard. I'm like, that's my daughter, you know. So a manifesto said the Moorish black bird innovated a lot of musical style stuff. in medieval Europe. That's true. Yeah, but um, the I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure they got Oscar Brown Jr. says we allow them to claim the world as his and sell pieces of it off his high price shelves. Bingo. That's what I was doing when you saw me doing like that, and Bob was just talking about reading that. That's what I was All doing. right, so we're gonna get to this, you know, that damn what they talking about. <laughs> um, get that cane, get the sticks, and get ready. We about and to they'll say it. they created the walking cane too. They'll say, Well, we had stick fighting first, the shillelagh. Dude, before the shillelagh, the shillelagh, before that, that <laughs> shillelagh. job existed, we were around, we were around whooping ass with a stick long before that. Um, this, when you see a spear, they love the African with the spear, and we, we did use a spear a lot. It's not king, though, in Africa. The sword is everywhere, all right? Uh, well, now the gun, but back then, the sword. Uh, this is actually where boxing comes from. This walk, you say, what? Talk about it. We hit with this before we start hitting with these. It, the, the knuckles, if you look at the fingers and stuff, they're, they're pretty fragile. They're not really made. They can be conditioned to, but they're not made to strike. And to tell the truth, I don't know where y'all are from because, you know, I'm from the country. My mom always said, you better pick up a stick and butt. Bingo. Or when they whooped your ass in the country, they picked up a the stick. They didn't use their hand to whoop. They, they picked up a stick. And it's funny. I'm sure they said that I remember years ago. I was spanking years ago with my hand, one of my children. Yes, I believe in Spain. Um, until they're 12, I don't think after that. But now, now we're fighting. Yeah, <laughs> if it come to that. But uh, a, a sister from the country, younger than me too, says, you hitting with your hand. You're supposed to use a, a belt or a stick. Or something. I said, I ain't hitting my child with no damn stick. She said, okay, well, I'm telling you, that's better. And that's less cruel than your hand. Hmm. I said, well, maybe with my hand. <laughs> I hit hard. But I said, but I also hit hard as shit with a stick, right? <laughs> so when we say stick, when you when you whip your child, white folk, we're talking about a switch. Because they're like, see, I knew black people hit their children with sticks. No, no, with a switch. And and that's the psychological torture of picking your own. Picking your own switch. <laughs> My auntie got me you when I was a little boy down in, in Mississippi. I visited Yazoo. She said, go get me a switch. And then I get this little, she said, no, no, you got to get one better than that. And then she said, now peel the skin off that. So I'm <laughs> killing it, so I'm just he crying the whole time. So, so I've already been whooped before she even hit me with the thing. Exactly, thing. exactly. And, and she hit me like maybe three times while I'm trying to run and shit. So, but she already knows. She didn't whoop my ass long before she got the switch in her hand. you don't pick a good one, I'm going to pick one. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Oh, so you got to pick a big switch to right. get whipped with. Whoop. Now, there was a running joke because I'm from a Marshall family, right? My friends was at my one of my best my best friend was always say this shit and tell people, say, you know, uh Adam, his mama called him. He ain't home by the time. She put his foot in his neck, half against the, 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 the in the doorway. Didn't I tell you? My, my mama never put her foot in my neck. <laughs> in the standing or on the ground. You talking about she do a sidekick, have a foot in my neck. Um and now I told my children, I was like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm about I'm about to keep on just playing with them. So I'm about to hand, hand me hand me that. So they'll say, what? And I'll point and they'll say, what the the uh like the slipper? I said, no, no, that and it's usually this. <laughs> I said, keep on, keep on, because this here. That ain't gonna woo. That hitting your I'm ass. I'm so or glad whatever. my mama ain't seen nothing like that. Yeah, no, I, I, would, mad at me. I wouldn't do that. But <laughs> now if you see this has knots on it too, right? Um these are very good you want that. for striking, right? You want it. You don't want a pr pretty carved out stick. I told you, you want it gnarled. You want it twisted, so it's not as bad, and 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 so you can bust them up. So you see, even with that, it's not an even stick. When it's I tell them get their sticks, I say do not get a straight stick. Don't bring no straight stick in there. in there. So you the friction is, and I actually need to get the gloss off of it and look sand it a little bit. But you see, it's got that. So. It's, and when those hit you too, that does a lot more damage, all that concentrated power. Yeah. So when you get a stick, don't get a straight ass stick, y'all. Get you one that was like this. Now, a cane is going to be straight. 
you don't strike with a cane the way you do this, and we're about to deal with the truth right now. Okay. So you know we're gonna do the magic of turning this around. We got it on this uh on this high tech thing where it, it turns. You know. Let's get remote controls swivel out. Ooh. Right. Oh whoa, it even moved back. So, you know, that's that's tracking. That's that's high tech tracking for y'all. Okay. Only the best in water. Just for y'all. We do it for y'all. Now, I can't get out this. <laughs> this thing is capped by the by the uh gotcha. there we go, by the mat. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Woo! I got up with the stick. Y'all, y'all missed it. Okay, it's all right. And we are right on time. All right. Now we have enough. I'm not gonna give a lesson. On how to walk with the stick, but say just just quickly, if you have a injury on your left foot, I, I see people do this weird. Step with the left, then put the right down. Hell no, 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 no. You put the stick out first. Okay. Put the stick. This give balance where you're this is the balance where you can't really do it on that foot. And if you wanted to, you could step with the Strong foot first, just make sure the stick is giving balance to this foot over here or whatever. But you put that that out, you step with the fine foot so it's less weight on your injured foot, and then you bring your injured foot forward. Um, I'm sure there are better ways for people that use a walking cane all the time. So this is my walking cane. A walking cane, okay, a lot of people like them taller. Um, can you get yours? So you see this my this is taller than my my walking cane. It should be no higher than probably a not probably. It should be no taller than a hand above your solar plexus. So that's about right where that should be. Okay. It should be no taller than a hand above your solar plexus, a walking stick. If we're talking about for self-defense wise, if it's too big, too long, or it's too short, it's gonna be now. This is mine, okay, and this is it's right at my it's right below my solar plexus, so it shouldn't really be no more hand lower than your solar plexus and a hand above your solar plexus. So, at the lowest, it should be about right here, right? Some people have it walk with right at their hip. If you have that, that's cool. Use a medical cane or one of them European, yeah, so that, that's that's fine if you're gonna, you're gonna have that. You can work it the same way as. You would do that stick that we're going to show you for sure. Why that left, Bobby? If you don't mind me asking. For self defense? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Well, you don't want it shorter than that, but because we have a walking stick, because the striking that we do with it. If it's too okay. short, it makes no sense to even do that kind of strike. You will. Right. Now, when we're talking about a cane, that's different. So a cane should be about the, the height of your. Yeah, because you you walking because if it's if a walking stick is that short, that's a cane. That's not really a right, right, stick. right. And and how you use a, a cane, you hold it right there, so it makes sense for it to be at your waist. Exactly, exactly. At your at your hip, a little bit above your hip, or right at your hip, a little bit below. Okay, um, I prefer it to be a little bit below, so my arm is straight, so it's relaxed. But some you know some people like it like that. Okay, so. First, with the walking stick, a couple of things with walking stick. I could use some words. I wish we had Bob over here. I but with Co Cody, Cody Whiteman. So we're going to bring Cody Whiteman. We ain't bring, brought him out in a while. He ain't been on the show. So to use the stick, if you're writing, you hold the head. We talk talking about the head and the tail. Okay, the tail is what touches the ground. Hold about two hands. So put two hands there and you hold under that hand. Take it. That's about where you want to hold the head. Do the same for the tail. I just know where to be at. If you're using somebody approaches you and he's being aggressive, you just bring that up to so serve. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you step forward. Do not give backward energy because if he puts his hand on this, his hands, 
and I got my energy just here or moving back. He, he's got a lot of leverage from that. But if he puts his hand, I'm moving forward. See, now he has issues where I have the leverage on him, then I, I, I start using it on him. And he usually will let go because I'm cracking him upside his <laughs> neck and head. Okay. Forward momentum. So that's the first thing. Make sure you have a problem. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. What's the issue? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. What's the issue? Okay. That means I'm not, I don't care what they call themselves. I'm defending myself. Okay. So we're going to strike twos and threes and an eight angle. Um, they can see here. Okay. So holding it from here. If I hold it like that, palm up at the head, palm down at the tail. You don't want to hold it like this. That'd be weird. I got a stick I'm, I'm walking with, and I go like this. That, that would really be strange. And to go like that would also be strange to hold it like that. Okay. So, no. That is two hands that are what we call positive. This two hands negative. No, it should be. Positive and negative. Positive at the head, negative at the tail. Okay. When I strike, I don't want to just keep my hand here and go, ha! Like that. Ha! <laughs> you say, my strike didn't have much power. It absolutely did. Because this should not strike like just this. Your hand should slide as you're pushing that towards them it's still holding the tool but it's sliding down and the tail you bring to your side some people like to hit their side i do not like to because i hit hard and i don't want to hurt myself slide that out see my hands up here when i strike see where my hands at now so it was up here it was up here it slides down to here right it can slide further it can slide all the way to here if i wanted to but i don't have to hit like that and we showed this how to strike like this with heavier tools with the bat that also adds the perception to the to that particular tool well yes that, there's a lot we can do with that so if i hit here boom right he goes to grab it i can i can shorten it i can shorten it from there so i hit him boom he's reaching for it i shorten it then I can shoot it right back out at it, okay? So we're disappearing the stick from their grass, right? So from here, hit. Use your hip to turn. If you, it doesn't matter if I have it on my, my uh, foot forward or backwards, it's better if you can have your right foot forward, but for some reason that you can't, if, if I'm a right. If I'm a lefty, left foot forward, if I can. If I cannot, it's okay to have this foot forward, but I got to use that hip on the side I'm striking, if at all possible. Okay, I use the hip to power what I'm doing. Okay, on the, so we're going to do that side first. It's an angle coming down. Make sure you slide your hand. Um, you don't have to start with something with this kind of weight. Start with something a little softer if your hand's not used to it. If you have a straight stick, get something else because that's going to burn your hand up. Yes, this is very useful, what he's talking about. Um, just real quick. So just so you all know, I did not want to do work with a stick when Baba first like, we're going to be doing, we're going to work with a stick this phase. I was like, man, a stick. I got the knife. I want. I've been stabbing people. I got the double saw. I got this, that. I don't want to work with no stick. And then I, because I was ignorant, that's why I, I you know. So to me, it's just a stick. But what it turns out, well, first of all, the middle stab is what that's called. You're using that like a middle stab, a middle stab, big stick, whatever you want to call it. It's actually one of the most intelligent tools that you can use. We rate tools by. Um, well, I don't know. Wait a minute. How do we rate tools? Intelligence. Look, intelligence. 
So, um, so they do blunt trauma. Some tools do blunt tra trauma. Some, you know, slash and cut. You know, some, but they aren't intelligent. This is an intelligent tool. And, and what we mean by that, some are just brutal. Right. If I have an axe, that's not a real intelligent tool. And when we say intelligent, it's versatile. It can do a lot of stuff that people aren't ex ex expecting it to do. Right. It can do more than just whap. Right. You just don't hold it like a bat and just swing all crazy. Right. It's, it's, it's more it's intelligent got, than that. That's why it's a head, a tail. There's a middle part. You got three different right. parts. There's so much do. we can do. So starting with the head, we're going to work our way down to the tail. Right. We, this would be oh. a, a, a four-week show to talk about everything this thing could actually do. This is a phase. Just learning how right. to use this thing probably is a whole phase. Which yeah, is at least three months. months. Right. So we're here, but what to use it, it doesn't take it. You're right. going to be able to use it today. today. <laughs> right. So you slide your hand, boom, hit. Slide your hand, hit. If I want to do, so that's an angle, for us, that's an angle two. If I want to hit with an angle three, I push this straight and then come over. So it goes straight and then I push right past my opposite shoulder and strike i still slide i use my hip on that side now on my left side to strike so strike 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 okay strike 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 that's very heavy right that hits heavy Okay. Very heavy. I'm hitting to his neck, to his collarbone. Collarbone is one of my favorite places to hit. So when you use a, a knife, you're hitting soft tissue areas. Okay? You're hitting soft part of the neck. You're hitting um, the muscles and the arm, the tendons. Okay? Hit soft targets. When you use a blunt tool, you hit... Hard targets, you're hitting bone. So a knife hits the arm, it's cutting flesh. This is the arm. Whoops, excuse me, my bust coat in the head. This is the arm. You're trying to break his arm. You're hitting the bone. Well, the same. I'm hitting the neck, but my aim is his collarbone. I want to crack that collarbone. Okay. Or come up a little, I want to crack his jaw. This thing has a weight underneath. I'm still rocking it pretty this, easy. That's what I'm telling y'all. It's very heavy how he's hitting. This thing already weighed about 180. Then I got weights trying to hold it down at the bottom because that's how heavy we lay when we hit. You can also hit and bubbly across heavy. to his body. You should hit at 45 going. So I'm going up here. I'm going down here. The reason why because bone breaks at, at 45, 45 degrees. degrees. Okay. Bone breaks at 45 degrees. So when you strike, try to strike always at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Just remember that. So it's simple. That's a two. That's a three. That's a two. That's a three. Doesn't matter what level. Two is always going to be that downward diagonal. Three is that backhand down with that. Okay. Two and three. All you got to learn is that. And the slide. Slide, two, and three. Always slide. So all you do is angle two, angle three. That's all you need. You don't need one coming down his head. If you want to hit his head, just hit it at that right. two angle or three angle. That's all. Okay. So two, three is the angle. You slide and use your hip. That's all. Slide and use your hip. Let it fly. Okay. That is the, the head. If I'm using the tail, I'm closer. So the tail, and, and anytime they attack, the main thing I want to deal with is his delivery system. Okay, so if he's you. trying to punch me, stab me, or whatever, that's the main thing. Kick me. I attack the delivery system first. I have to wait and see how much you want to give y'all before I jump in and 
say it's too much. <laughs> but with any tool you got, we have a certain order of operation we want to be on. So the first thing you want to be doing, whether you got a, a, a blunt object, or a blunt weapon, or a tool, or whatever kind of tools you want to be doing damage to, what can be do, doing damage to you? And that's the delivery system, these hands, these feet. Even the head could be a delivery system. That's why you're cracking the head, too. Right. So, and, and, and that that's the brain box trade controls all right this. we shut that down so you can shut that down but first and foremost if this is coming at you you attack that so if he's throwing a punch i could go ahead slow i could hit his head like so y'all can see i could hit his head right but no that wouldn't be my first target my first target boom i hit his hand and this ain't gonna be useful after that <laughs> this ain't gonna be useful and him it makes him feel stupid like he punched the stick right and, and and it's gonna jam me up for a minute when i hit that that's that's gonna be a quick freeze and it allows me this so the good part about the middle when he punches and he gets hit like that this flies now wow so now it's the number two so i block with that and Ooh. then the two goes boom right that's very hard on my and head. then i can come up that's called a six boom with the six. Yeah, it's a very intelligent tool. Then I can slide away and then hit him in his throat because I, I gave myself that kind of room. Boom, hit him in his throat, then come down again. So it's it's a real intelligent, innovative. That happened tool. in about two seconds. Oh yeah. Not about two when seconds. It's not like working, that. it's not it's not long. Boop, at bang, all. Bang. I'm right. down. <laughs> Just like a drum, how African drum sound, that's what that was. That was yeah. boop, boop. And that's what it's doing, right? Percussion. <laughs> so now middle part you're closer you saw i've met his hand you can meet their neck you can meet their face with the middle of the stick of the stick right boom hit boom hit okay yeah, so I would have never thought and of the stick is a you can person. do it on that yeah. same two and three angle if you want it two three okay two we also strike the joints with the stick you definitely so joints okay use this answer to see the structure of the joint for me to hit here that could be problematic but that's not devastating unless i happen to hit the bone too have a knife on the other hand this knife, yeah, that hit my joint. If this hits his joint, well, I'm 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 tearing up tendons and uh, possibly hitting the artery. This ain't jointing no more. Right, <laughs> it ain't joint. It's disjointing. Right, he's disjointing. So that is a soft target. That's what you want to hit with when we talk about soft targets with a knife. I really don't go for the joint. If I'm going to hit the, here, I might as well hit a little bit up here and and shatter his arm shot of that bone that's connecting to that joint see a joint is connection between two sides right so i hit that side or i hit that side or i hit that elbow mm. so i'm damaging the joint anyway but i'm hitting the bone right now the next question is how do you disarm them if they have a weapon knife or gun okay uh can you get your get a knife please all right we get a training knife Nice thick one too. You can get a real knife, but then I hit you. Yeah, real. I know. I know what happens when I do that. <laughs> so he's got a training knife. It doesn't matter. You put it in your left. They can see. I think they can see. This back. No. Yeah. yeah, you have to come come around this side so then they can now now switch hands. <laughs> hand, switch. Yeah, so they can see the strike. So we talk about the delivery system. He has a knife. I'm glad you asked this question because I wanted to get to this. And he has a knife. At, at, at this distance, we got some work to do. You know, I'm just here chilling. Yeah, I you said, sir, up. sir, please. It's and and why you out with the knife like that? Yeah, it's too late. He out with that knife, but so That's usually a person story. is not gonna uh, like hide the knife where I can't. He's like that, right? And now this, you're not doing nothing. He walks up. And just how you doing? Hey, bro, can I get some direction? Yeah! Not now, I'm jammed up. That's how knife fights happen. And that's how they happen. That's why There's the knife no is so deadly. Knife fight. Right. That's why they're so deadly. Okay. Do but it. 
if he goes, yeah, now they are, and I, I stop him. So yeah, uh, what the hell? Well, now we now I slam that into him, and now we're in the knife fight and a and a stick fight, right? Right. So as far as dealing with this, I'm attacking that delivery system. I'm not trying to disarm. I'll give him something real, Bob. Say we get in a beef. I see you got the stick. We get to say you rock me some kind of way where I get I get some distance. Now I push you back, the, right? I pull the knife. Nah. So now I got the knife. Or you say, I see that, that stick. Oh, you think you got that? Right. What you going to do get this right here? I got that blade out. Now that, in that instance, I, and I always ask the student who has the advantage. Okay. What do y'all think? Real quick, who has the advantage? Who has the advantage? I got, and now we're not talking about Baba against B-Lay. We talk about knife against. Knife against stick, knife against yes. middle staff. That with that tool right there. Who At that distance, we are gonna go with it. Nobody don't want to be wrong, so I yeah. ain't expecting y'all. So <laughs> from this distance, I can attack him there. He's got to get in close. Remember, that's this is another reason we don't swing like that because he just cut me yeah, so as I'm trying to come. But I'm living in it, that's so my hand slides. is nowhere near that's him. The reason why he slides, right? So. Boom, it gives power and it keeps me away from his tool. Remember, we assume that the person is highly trained, so they're both highly trained. So I want to go for his delivery system. He's right. trying to go for my delivery system. Bingo. Hands, heads, or legs. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got to get through something to get there. I got to right. travel. Even right. though if I get there, it's a good chance I'm going to do a lot of damage. I got to get to his hands. It's a long way. And, and that's why if somebody's teaching you, this is how you use the stab. They have never been in combat, never. but they're going to get the shit cut out as of them. As soon as they, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right. Because to hit you, it's got to move to you. If, if I don't move my hand, it's got to get like there. this. Right. And I could be scared. Ow, it cut my thumb. This thing if is, that just touched you, it's going to open. People could really, you got, people don't get cut enough. They don't think about right, this enough. Right. But, but you've been in the kitchen. You know how you stop everything. So the, <laughs> and right. Just imagine. I got some scars. And it, and it cuts a piece of your flesh off. Yeah, a little piece of your finger well, flying around. I lost, man, this, because I killed someone now. I lost a piece. Oh, shit. I, the legend I've been hurt a lot of times. I don't even remember. <laughs> I lost a piece of, it, it, it got cut out by a student. One of these fingers, shit, I can't, wow, I can't even remember no more. And so it cut a, cut a piece out. And I said, oh, shit, man, you know, he had to get me. I had to drive myself to the hospital because he was so nervous after doing it. It was an accident. If he had tried to cut me, I'd have got him ready. But, but I knew, so he, he was like, he drove past the hospital. I said, brother, you just passed the hospital. <laughs> and I'm keeping myself calm because I don't want to just bleed profusely, right? Because I'm bleeding a lot. I said, I don't want to say his name. I said, brother, I'm about to pass out. <laughs> you got to get me to the hospital. Oh, I said, just pull over. And I'm driving myself blood everywhere, right? I'm driving myself, and I, I get out, I go to the hospital. Okay. Um, Most people ain't gonna do it. <laughs> and while I'm in there, they're looking, you, you can't sign sign the paper with all that blood. I said, if you don't let me, I said, let him sign it. Can't, I said, if you don't allow me to sign in here, I'm gonna pass out here, and then I'm gonna sue this <laughs> for lack of care. And, and, and dude stand, I guess a supervisor, you better sign him in. <laughs> and so the other guy signed me in and they took my ass right back. You know, this thing is devastating. Okay. So it's, it's, and that was just, I mean, he was, he was whoo, scared of me, even though I didn't, he had the knife. I didn't have a knife. And we're trying to show these other Kung Fu experts how to, because they, they start carrying a knife from listening to me talk about it before, that how do I actually use it? They had no clue how to actually use it. So I'm talking to them, you know, what somebody grabs like a praying mantis hand, I said, they're gonna get tore up. So this no. unrealistic shit. So as far as disarming him, he has a knife, you disarm by hitting him and you look, but do not try to do the disarm with it. My students always, Baba, you don't teach us disarms. You know you know them damn right, and that's why I don't teach you because I know that's some it's bullshit, and I, I hate them. So he strikes just just because I was asked. Say, give me a, a that's cool. 
doesn't matter what it is. He strikes. I go here. That, that that's nice. One, I I've done that many times. It's falling on my foot. Right. So that that's and because you're not really using and getting cut by a knife, you don't really understand. And it's, if it don't is on the ground, it's free game again. Right. Pick it back up. And I'm not assuming that he's by himself either. So you know, you go here and boom, you go again. And, and I mean, shit, he could bend down and get it. <laughs> so now, even though I'm devastating him, or his boy grabs it, and right. now I'm getting stuck in my 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 damn kitten. So no, that's not the smart thing to do. It's just many things that I could do. You know, he because I get him here, yeah, I stick him with it, looks and all that, and that looks great. It looks great in demo. <laughs> ah, and ask, ask, ask. I don't care who they are. If you got a family member that's a cop at, in, in a in a in a in a, uh, a dangerous area, ask people from the military, especially operators, have they ever taken a knife from somebody <laughs> or, or hit them like this with a knife? And if they are honest, I'm willing to bet it's less than half of one percent. Mm. Because when I get him here. He ain't just just taking that shot. Oh. He's trying to get away. He's he moving because he don't want everything. And, and, and now, mind you, he's got the knife in his hand. No. <laughs> no. Now, from here, and if you don't know, if he knows, all you, all you do now is push your fist like that, like you want to punch the ground in a bad way, like that. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. That's S lock. No, I, oh, he I didn't even know. I, even see, I see it right see, there. See, right. Okay, I see it. I see, see, I'm in the S lock. And, and he got a knife still. Oh, and no. then he just cuts me. He can cut me by accident coming down. So a knife is serious. Will you all be preserving, presenting a beginner level workshop in the near future? We always do. So whenever we do workshops, what I do is I teach for the beginner and also for somebody like it's his level or, or I can mobilize here. He's a master instructor. I teach. So everybody gets something out of it, regardless of their level. A lot of people say, well, that's impossible. No. It's impossible for them because they, if, if you're saying it's impossible, it's because you don't know. He's been taught by masters, even master teachers of how to teach. Right. Not even martial arts, but how to be a master teacher at anything. Right. So there's ways to do it. That, that's why and in school they fail because in school, so some people, man, they got sixth graders, eighth graders, and 12th grade in the same class. Well, that can be done. Mm. But if you don't understand that, you think the 6th grader may be getting a lot and the 12th grader ain't getting shit. No. That's not how it works. In class, I tell everybody, it's it's, it's so it's so brilliant because, and we're going to stay on the student, but it's so brilliant because you can come as a person that never done anything. I can come to class, to the same class, we're going to look like we're doing the same thing. Right. I'm not gonna look like I'm doing nothing. No, I may understand it. Now you may be doing it and not know what you're doing, but you're still gonna be doing it. Right. And we just getting different things out of it. And the power is different. And the person was funny. The person was saying to me, "Well, he's more powerful than me." Yeah. He's been doing it longer, and so of course I'm more understanding. Because <laughs> and understanding comes from doing the thing. You will. Okay. And so I can give you. That's why people, man, you. You giving them such and such technique, I could give you the same technique, or I could walk into a school uh, and say they're teaching something that we know, right? And it may have picked it up quick because I've been doing it a long time. And so the feeling of it, and everything. I went to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school and I'm working with the guy who was teaching me. He said, My God, you're, you're tight. You know, I thought you didn't do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I said, I don't. You know, do acting martial. He said, wait a minute. Lam. I said, yes. I said, that's one. He said, I lived in a, uh, in a Senegal. He was doing work there, whatever, you know, volunteer work for over a year. He said, and I would be with the wrestlers and they were so tight, just like this. Mm. So he knows, okay, he had, I, I couldn't lie to I had no martial skill. You know, that don't just come from nowhere, the, the, the tightness mm. of being like that, right? When I say tightness, I mean the closeness to the person through the, everything you do. So he knew that. He just didn't know where. And then when he, when I said African, he knew that's a that's a characteristic across the board of African martial arts. Yeah, asking Bob, is it the same principles with the cane? 
Uh, As the principle we talked about before, the five principles. Are the principles no, no, no. the same for a cane? Oh, yeah. So that's what we're getting to now. That's what I'm holding this. So now I'm going to the cane. Uh, first, I'll go into that question that was asked, even with, with this. Boom. Same. This song. The, the, the walking stick is going to be heavier, of course, in the way it strikes. This is going to be quicker. Now, if you don't have aim, you say, well, I, I can't just aim at his fist and, and hit because I ain't been doing it a long time. You don't aim at his fist. Don't aim at shit except his arm. <laughs> now, that's an arm pretty long, and that's pretty general. Aim at his arm. And if you happen to hit his hand, cool, even in passing. But aim at his arm. This is the delivery system. Destroy that bad boy. But if you can get that fist, because those bones, once again, this is a blunt object right a blunt tool you want to hit the bones if possible but if you can't get that get what you can you want to keep him back okay you don't you don't want him so just whack that as hard as you can it ain't got to be skillful right now something you know? else you wouldn't think about or see i got this knife out you got this thing i pulled this knife and what you see in the street or what you may encounter is the person right there, because this is a blade of freeze up. What you don't want to do is wait for me to move or the person oh, with that no. blade. You want to go, it's the best time is right now while I'm right here. Really? So the I'm best time there. is pull it again. <laughs> that's, the be, that's the best time. Is right. As soon as I go right here. Boom. And I'm not hitting his head. You right. say, his head's open. But that. I can hit his head and he get that out and open me up or, or open me here. Right. This, is right this, this would be worse though, because at least he opened me here. I can still hit again. Right. You know, catch my intestines before they fall out and then hit him. But if he hits that hand, right, just ah, like that, just defend himself. Like I'm all screwed. Now, so as he's trying to pull, that's the best time to attack that arm. Okay? Right. You have to, you're gonna have to be on your shit against a person with a blade because you can't make as many mistakes as I can. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is going to make up for the mistakes. Of now, me. with this walking stick, I got more of a chance. And I'll probably shatter his arm. You like can it. make some. You got a chance. You can swing on that one now. But this one, you got to be, you got to know your shit. And you can't be, you cannot wait at all. You got to move. Now, put down the, the knife. Say he doesn't have a knife. And I'm walking. He's aggressing me. I got a walking, I got a cane. Bro, what the fuck? You 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 want to immediately see, see? I don't want him to like that, and I'm going backwards. So when he I say, how, "How are you doing, sir?" I, I, see, I bring that up. Now, I move forward too, so my energy's forward. Okay. So if I kept going out of, and the beauty of because it's shorter, when he comes towards me, I'm, sir, and he touch. Well, if that touches, I know he's aggressing me. So now I slide that off. My hand takes his place. And I, that's the stick. I slide that off and I strike his knee. Mm. Okay. So I'm still keeping him back with this hand if possible. Mm -hmm. If I can't, then I move off the side. Mm -hmm. If I can't stop him, like maybe my hand is injured or I don't have a, a, another hand, I strike him in his knee. That's bone right there. Don't strike the calf. Strike right there above the bend in his knee. So I want to hit that. Oh, did that you hurt me? No, no, no. Okay. So I want to hit the bone. Okay. Boom. Hit. So that's hitting that tendon here and muscle, and I'm hitting the bone mm -hmm. there. Would you slide and hit the other So the bone hit, I, I, I would slide, and, and I, would, I would hit either the other one hit inside, inside here mm -hmm. or your, your kneecap. Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting the bone, either the kneecap here, or I'm hitting the other leg on the other side. Okay. So it's pack, pack, and it goes quick, bang, bang, and then I come up to defend myself. So at that point, so I hit his leg, bang, bang, boom, and then I come up to defend myself and would strike. If he didn't have anything, I would strike there. If he puts his hand up to defend himself, uh, uh, like, you know, to, to, to defend yourself, oh, right. right. I I hit there, and I was like, shit, stopped it, and I hit his damn elbow. Mm. So boom, boom. Mm. You okay? No, no, no. I'm just simulating okay. what that's So I crack like. that, and then since, since it sticks down, I crack his knee again. So brutal. Okay.
Okay, so that's how you would use your cane. Now, say, I'm, say I got the cane here. A lot of those swift movements, if you notice, he's moving more. Right. I got the cane here. And if, if, if you can't move your, your leg, move your hips. If you can't move your hips, then move your shoulders, okay, to add power. But the cane's here. I flip the cane up. So the tail of the cane is in my hand. No, if you have a hook cane like that, you got the horn that sticks out the back. You got the hook. It's the shaft and you got the tail. So I flip it up. I can flip it by the, the hook. Up. Okay. And then I would take my hand. I wish I had a hook cane. I would take my hand off and put it right on the shaft the below the hook, hook. Right, right right below the hook y'all so okay. now i'm able to strike there as opposed to having a hook striking like this right and it's too loose at no time i'm going to this is me jumping out as an instructor i could be wrong when i say this i don't believe at no time he's going to try to use the hook like bugs bunny or anybody no. on TV. i just I, i'm just i was gonna guess on that <laughs> it's gonna take a while so and that's why also i wish i had the hook came what he's talking about I go around his neck, pull him. That's what everybody was so saying. So there's a martial art that does mm -hmm. this. I'm not gonna say the art. It does this. It comes around and then it's going like that. Like you been like you gonna let me do all that and I'm choking with the cane with the hook. So I go ha! I pull, me. You, I pull you forward and I go hook <laughs> ha! And that looks nice. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen that way. <laughs> um, or you punch and I go hook with the hook. I move that off, and Ooh. then I come around, hook you punch, I hook your other hand. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> like, no, this is that's TV. No, so that that hook, you really don't use the hook much. That horn in the back, you turn that bad boy around, and you bust inside his head. That's what that's for. <laughs> now I'll hook, hook his leg, he fall. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You crack him in his leg, he gonna fall, probably. Right. He and, gonna and, fall. And the one of the principles behind that is gross motor. You're not like to take that hook and hook it around while your adrenaline and everything's going. That's fire motor skills. Basically. Right. Or well, even this, you punch. And instead of hitting you with the stick like this, I go, yeah. <laughs> and you, you, you like to lock your hand down. This is that. So if you, you see that, that. And then I turn and, and you, no. <laughs> no, that, that that that's too that's much. That's a lot. You're trying to punch, and I go, ah! You nice. You see that? And then because <laughs> it gets out. So I gotta be not just nice. I gotta be precise. All your adrenaline. That's why I'm more with, with with adrenaline going. The, the quickness of fights. Yeah. I catch you with that. And I, and I gotta be still for just a split second <laughs> and hope I ain't sweating. Because if I am, I can just right. die right on. But but when when you do it, you punch. You gotta leave that shit out there. <laughs> and then I look at you, you're in fear because I caught you. I mean, come on, and then, then I boom. I mean, come on, man. Now, y'all will see that in the next movie we come out with. <laughs> but look, the shit we're doing in the movies, don't be trying that and shit. It's gonna be Ice up. Cold Carter, who is right. fantasy anyway. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So, Ice Cold Carter's the type of person, if he called Jared Ball, Jared Ball, y'all know him, he would hit Jared and Jared have full apple. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's Ice Cold Carter because. That kind of shit is fake. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's that's African. We pride ourselves on being practical, being efficient. Right. All this shit you be seeing, that shit ain't that shit just be looking great, man. But it's that's not honest and true. You know, so when people say and, and which it's funny because people will say, you know, people think Africans are spooky. Yeah. A lot of times when they're in Judeo Christian religions, some sometimes they are spooky. But they're, but they're talking about you. But they do that voodoo. That's because you don't understand it. So there's a when you talk about Ifa in with the Yoruba, they have body a corpus of knowledge called the Odu. It's 256 Odu, okay. And within each of those 256, there are thousands of essay, which is stories, okay. Not not the essay. people. Oh, essay, yeah. <laughs> so, when in O'Connor and Osa, one of the or do so, O'Connor plus Osa, so O'Connor and Osa. 
that makes one of the 256, right? Out of 16, you get 256. It says, what good is the cutlass? Except human beings pick it up. What good is the rake? Except human beings pick it up. The leaves ain't gonna get up by their damn so What good is it? The name all these things. It says, divination was done for the human being and the elephant. And the reason why the big elephant can be defeated by the little human being is because the little human being picks up tools. Did that elephant pick up a stick? Jeez. If that elephant was able to pick up a stick or a gun <laughs> or a knife, we'd be in trouble. The first time the Because of the, the strength of, a, of an elephant, they could pick up a knife and it cut you in half. But that's why chimpanzees were attacking. We, we dealt with that attacking the gorillas. Mm -hmm. They weren't attacking the gorillas with their hands. Chimpanzees strong as shit, but not nowhere near as strong as the gorillas. They were attacking with tools. They had sticks. Right. That's the great equalizer on those gorillas. They started to hunt, fish and shit with, with tools. They right, come, they come sticks. For us. They come they, for they, right, for so us. they were whooping gorillas' asses with a stick. So they, they whoop your ass. Great equalizer. Yep, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yep, the great equalizer. Now, oh, and I just want to say, y'all be honest for for a minute. Think think about it. This is practical, and a lot of people surprised at what this is. Because when you think African, we've been so, we've been so pro, uh, programmed. We think in African martial arts, they gotta have straw, fucking skirts, and fucking blowing smoke in the air well, like see, a, 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 student, a student that trained me for a while gonna ask me, you know, Baba, where's the? He's been trained for me about five years. Where's the African in the African martial arts? I said, what? And I thought for a minute. I said, oh, I understand. He wants Boom. this. I teach go. <laughs> and you see that shit in uh, the movie. Uh, uh, not Blood Sports, the one when they uh, Van Damme was doing the uh, Thai boxing. Kickboxer. Yeah, kickboxer. And kickboxer, they fighting these different people. You had sumo. That was racist as hell, too. The way. But the way they did us in all of Van Damme's movies, it was always in one movie. You know, where well, they had two in the kickboxer. They had the one acting like a monkey. Ooh, 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 and then he gets knocked out by the no, he gets the squeezed sport. by the, the blood yeah. The no, 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 that was that was kickboxer. You get squeezed by the sumo dude, remember? Mm -hmm. And knocked out. He was trying to do it right. like that. That's blood sport. Yeah, he got oh, he did yeah, the bolo then. He's a monkey, yeah. Yeah, he get, he get, and then in in in, in uh, kickboxer, the dude was so short. So he he looks at Von Dam, he points. Now, oh, we can't speak. We can't oh, speak yeah, English. Like this. We can't speak English. Yeah, and that was dude huge. But that's what we and then, then Von Dam just kicks him and knocks him unconscious. See, this is the shit that's done, and people believe that. So when the internet first started, you had a group of white folks. Attacking anybody talking about African martial arts on there. I would just watch, see what was going on, and I wouldn't say nothing until and these were some then black folks started doing it. To these brothers started attacking, they attacking the Yee's authenticity. These brothers who don't know shit, they, 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 they don't they're not trained in, in nothing except maybe kung fu and shit like that. How are they gonna question his authenticity, right? And I got in then when they did that because that's my elder. To, for them to do that to him, never trained with Kennedy. I've, I've, I've been to his, con uh, his conference, the World African Martial Arts Conference, right? Um, but my respect for him, I got in and jumped in their ass. Mm -hmm. And then they, they're like, well, we'll question you. I said, well, question me if that take away from him. Mm -hmm. And as they begin to question, a person who doesn't know a thing cannot question you properly. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, you should have asked me this. <laughs> I'm asking the question. Like, oh, boy. Oh, my God. He, he, you know, he's real. I said, so it's going to be. I said, from now on, if you're going to say anything else to me, you need to speak. You need to apologize to him mm. for what you did. Okay. So, and, and may Kennedy rest in power. Um, so people because they now they probably didn't have that image of hoody, 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 but they still had some made up idea yeah. of what it is. 
did. So we have to have on a daishiki or whatever. Mm-hmm. If you see anybody in the continent training, use it. Men, they use the training without a shirt. And women use this training with a bra top. Okay. Like I said, you without a shirt. No, no, you going after. I, I knew it. I knew you were say that. Now, uh, at one point, I was like, we, we need shorts. So I got these, but I got these cheap board shorts to wear because it was hot. It's hot. We're in Atlanta. It was hot as hell. Had these cheap board shorts. And as we train, um, you know, at one point, I'm training and my glory showed. <laughs> and I said, never again. Never again. I, all the other men felt felt inadequate and stuff. Uh, and then, so I said, never again. Well, we went. So we took those off. You shamed everybody. I shamed everybody. Everybody, you know, they have nightmares and feeling inadequate. But you know, I didn't. I didn't mean to do them like that. So we changed out of that. But this is the beauty of it, man. It's very, it's, it's very, very practical. This is efficient. It is you. I know. I understand. I'm like I can. I used to get caught way more than I do now. I used to look for the technical, the, the, where's the technical, it, it don't have to be hard. It don't have to be difficult. It can be, it can be simple. I and tell you, Kalanji first, when he first came to class, I said, okay, I'm going to show you a back fall. And he throwing himself back like a falling tree and all kinds of, I said, just sit down. <laughs> and he said, it got to be more complex than that. I said, no, just sit down. It doesn't have to be more complex, okay? Um, It's simple. Because if it's complex and you got to be thinking about it, you're not going to defend yourself with that at all. You're not going to do complex, fine, gross, uh, fine motor skill stuff in combat. It's just not going to happen like that. So so when we talk about disarming, the simple way is to hit his damn hand or her hand and and, and they drop it. And if they don't drop it, be prepared to keep working. Hit, keep hitting that hand. Hit the skull, uh, and really not the skull. The skull is the hardest bone in the body. Okay, it's protecting your brain, so that makes sense, right? Hit all of the eye. Don't aim. Just hit, hit over here. Like my old man would say, hit right here. Mm-hmm. And that, and people would say, boy, you know, he was something else. Just keep it super simple because he don't want you trying to be complex. Hit the skull right the crest, <laughs> and that's not doing nothing except like giving them a doohickey on their head. Yeah, 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 right here, hit, hit up in here, hit up in here. That do something. Y'all say that do something. What do you say? Hit that, hit that motherfucker, and he, he always hit that motherfucker right on the side. Hit that motherfucker right here. <laughs> you say, well, how much he showed in the way? And you say nothing about it. don't hit the shoulder. <laughs> hit that motherfucker right here, right here. You go, oh, sorry about that. You're right. And <laughs> I hit it right. That's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> right. how it works. Do you okay? Yeah, yeah. It, it did something, right? <laughs> so imagine if I hit hard. Oh, oh, oh. Goodness, okay. the shoulder did pop and head. so I wasn't saying I'm going to hit his shoulder. It's going to crack his collarbone. Then I go down into his solar plexus right. and, and, and pop his solar plexus out. And, his, his, and then it opens his sternum. And then his, his all his organs fall down. Uh, you ain't doing all that to so swing he, the club. He a two and a three and another. That's right here. Bop, 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 right, bop. And that's it. And that's why when people see it, they're like, man, it's quick. Because it's not an aim at the thing. We don't, we don't aim. I, I, other arts may, and thank God, you know, I praise them for their accuracy. <laughs> accuracy comes after doing it so many times. So many times. I'm able to hit his thumb. I'm able to hit his knuckles. I'm able to hit. I'm able to do that, but I'm not... Aim and really, I'm I'm looking at his uh, I'm looking at at his sternum. I'm not looking at his. For class, I'll be like this. So you look there, but in combat and where I teach them, look at his sternum. But I'm still gonna hit his hand. But from training, you gotta train it. You gotta train it. You gotta train it. You gotta train it. But when you out there, if you go out there today, somebody attack you. Don't be telling me I'm trying to hit it. You want to hit his delivery system, but don't say I'm trying to hit his. The knuckle of his index finger. Yeah. Say, boom! Do something. Boom! A swing. And I'm doing that terrible like that on for you. Y'all can't mm-hmm. really see my hand. But, mm-hmm. So it's going to do something. And that's what you want to do. You want to do something. Don't do nothing. Give up the ghost. And don't, not do you don't have to try to hit it 
in some type of beautiful form. Yeah, yeah, be- and then, you know, hit him in there. <laughs> here. Yeah, so you can look yeah, at look no. as crazy over you. Right. <laughs> Just tear that ass up, okay? Tear that ass up. I know some artists would be like, you know, get get off me. Get up. I'm not for that because you can get tired as hell. You you get tired from even defending yourself. Yeah. Okay. So do not if you're screaming on top of that. Now, if you buy if, if you're off around the corner or something, and your people right around the corner, you might, hey, stop it, leave me alone. You, then you may do that, but if you out here by yourself and you die screaming and you're fighting to survive. I, I, I would advise you against that. You get tired as hell, just to start working. Boom, boom, work, boom. And then it shouldn't be long. You should get the hell out of it. If you work with this cane, you use the same angles like the stick, just you're not sliding. You don't slide the cane. Once you do that, and if they're disarmed, crack them up, they reach for that, that tool again, it's on the ground, crack them in the back of their head, and then take that cane, put it down, and get on as best you can. Exactly. Okay? If you're using the cane to walk too, use that mud to walk a little bit quicker than you were <laughs> at first. Get away. Okay? I know the moves will all be the same. Are they effective for an older person, woman, child who may not be as strong? I suppose they would just have to do their best with the movements. Also, and, and that's all of us. Factor. All of us do the best we can. Yeah. And so I would also encourage you to do a, a little bit of work, a little bit of exercise, and get a little stronger. Okay. We all should be. But yes. You're not going to hit as hard as him or, or me, probably. But this going to, like my old man said, this going to do something. I guarantee any eight-year-old swing hard enough with that and hit me in my own hands. Eight. <laughs> my son was about a year and three months or so. I'm on the train with him, holding him. Oh boy, he come to class all the time, so he like doing stuff, right? So he's looking at me, smiling. I said, "Ah, Dave, don't, because I, I know that look. Don't." He goes, "Pow!" Hits me, open palm. I said, "This," and when he kissed me, it, his nail got me too, and I'm I'm bleeding. I said, "Boy, woman, t-. it wasn't bad, but you know, bleeding enough." Where a woman turns around, she said. I hold him while you tear his ass up. <laughs> I said, it's, it's all right, man. She's an older woman. I hold him while you tear his ass up. So he had enough power. I mean, the people looked. But they heard the power of him hit me when he hit me. Yeah, he wasn't exceptionally strong in that matter. I mean, he's a year and three I months. I want to say this Baba Child. He's a superhero. Yeah, he wasn't no damn. He was a, uh, uh, typical. Well, not typical because he was walking that eight months. But he was, so he was strong for a baby, but a baby with little teensy baby hands. With their knuckles are still little knots. I mean, little dents. Yeah, that's a stick. You got to think about it. You can be you, uh, you can be elderly. Just the momentum of coming down with a stick. You know what I'm saying? It don't take a whole lot of force to do the right job. Don't just train with it. You get you get good with it. You will. Thank you for this training. I'll be going over it again and again and again. My way. And let me let me end with this. Once again, remember angle two and three. So angle two with this stick. And it doesn't matter whether you're using a knife, or whatever, the angles are the same. Uh, angle two, just you can use that so they can see. Yeah. Angle two with, with, with this is here, it slides, hits. Okay. Angle two with the cane, it doesn't slide. I'm hitting with the end of the cane, not the head of the cane, hits. Okay. That's still that downward diagonal, hits. All right. Or hits. Angle three is that backhand. So I go from here, I straighten it, and that's a defense as well. I can point that at him. Now, not if he had his knife now. Then I turn it over to this opposite shoulder, use the hip on this side, hit. That's angle three. That's a backhand diagonal. With the cane, so you're not there two forehead, but diagonal. 
And then this one, I can just come around. So I don't have to go here. I go here, come around, and hit using this hip. Backhand diagonal. Number three, same angle. Two, three. Okay, with the tail. I could do that same thing here, but I'd be now stabbing if I was close. Two, three. That's usually like in here. Two, three. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was okay. talking, about, talking about a pommel. So that's called a pommel. So you, you put, if I'm a righty, I put my left hand on it. I put my right hand above it. That's why I hold it. But with a cane, you, do, you go right below where it starts to hook. So you know where to grab it. And then with, with a hook cane. And then two, three. I can hit different places. Two, three. Question, Bob. Three, two. Or three, two, yes. Say I'm holding, you remember for a second? Mm -hmm. Say I'm holding this at the, so this is the hook, right? Mm -hmm. Could I use that hook as a pommel like that? Of course, yes. So I can, so I can still yeah, use that can, hook. You can use that can. and you can, with, with, so you got, That's a good with thing. that, you also got the horn. The horn will be right here. Right. So it'd be right there. Uh, that, that that part that sticks out, so the, the hook, boom. Right. The horn, boom. You can hit with that. You can use that close up. Right. You can So you can use it close. If you want to keep the person off of you with the cane, you use the tail at the end. Back, sir. I don't want them too far, but unless I'm, if they do have a tool, get back, sir, then whop, wrapping yeah. his hand. If I have the walking stick, remember, I don't push with my hand right there. I disappear my hand, so I slide back. Boom, he gets the stick, not me. Get back, sir, and then I can hit. So from here, this thing's so heavy, I can hit from here, but... After I push him back, I come up and around, boom, hit, right? Mm -hmm. Just don't come a big circle, just up, boom, and down, okay? Mm -hmm. Or get back, sir, boom, okay? Yeah, yeah. So I <laughs> hit him in his chin, boom. See how his head went back, now I can hit to his throat, and then come down on his hand. Brutal, so brutal. it's a lot you can do. Uh, for me, I prefer this because it's more versatile, it's heavier, it strikes with a lot of power. Very intelligent. But, you know, particularly if you have to walk with the cane, you can use the cane. Remember, it's the tail that you're working. You really don't do this in the middle because it's, it's the cane is thinner. If you hit hard enough, this, this will break. Yeah. So, really don't do that unless you have to. It's better to use the pommel part and then the tail. All right. So, any other questions? Uh, no more questions. When will you be doing the training using a, a cast iron skillet? Tell you what, <laughs> by the book, you'll see exactly how to use that cast iron skillet the proper way. Yeah. Santi uh, So, Santi Sana Buana Quaheri. Now, Santi Sana, thank you, Buana Master. Thank you. Uh, so this class came from an idea from one of you guys. Yes. So, any more? We want to hear. Um, you got any more ideas? Any more class? Any more type of warrior classes that you want to see? Things that you want us to work with? Uh, questions and that you may have. You know, let us know. Hit us up. It whether it's in the comment section, DM us. We appreciate y'all as always. Now. So as far as, also on the uh, Yapo, as far as uh, we had answered it, but for an older person, woman, or child, um, yes, just do something. Um, might not be as strong, but as far as I'm speaking for, from an older person, but they have a lot more sense, a lot more wideness, slickness. Uh, use that to your advantage, you know. Oh, so what's the problem, sir? The whole time you 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 lining yourself, you moving outside of his line, you lining up that stick to crack his ass and his nuts. So what? And then then he what? And he gets aggressive. Boom! You come at him, hit him. He's not expecting it because of your age, or even a woman. Not expecting it. One of our students, she's out with a dude. 
uh, white dude bumps him. She's like, uh, excuse me, say what? And when he turns, what? The, the man she whips cowering on the she's a big dude, right? Cowering against the wall. She pulls a knife, steps forward. Excuse me? He goes, oh, I'm sorry. He walks off. Now, she got two bonuses. So he walks off. The dude looks and said, I can't believe you would pull a knife. And she knew not to date him. No she knows she got a sucker. Right, she knows she got a sucker. I don't have to go to a second date and be disappointed. She knew right then, okay? So he wasn't expecting this, and this is a skinny woman. He wasn't expecting her to step forward. That's being ready. Like, goddamn, what you want to do, okay? So always use what you have. You have, you have things that people don't expect, okay? My mother's in a wheelchair. They wouldn't expect certain things to come from her. You see it on the street all the time. Somebody get into it and they be like, all right, bro. They never go just fight right. They're gonna be they're gonna turn, they're gonna let right. walking away. They got it's all good. I, I learned that as a kid. I mean, first, first thing I'm gonna do is be like, bro, I'm getting my hands ready just by even, breaking them up. Even in it, so I'm and I think I told y'all before this dude, I say his name, Andy Space. Andy Space, you out here, you know you're, this was stupid, and you and, and you can praise the heavens that you're still here. Yeah. He was talking stuff to me. I'm, we're on the stage. He was mad because I, I grew up at beating his group rapping. It was really crazy. So he's just trying to come with any reason to fight. My boy said, do you know who that is? I said, hey, man, who that? You know? He said, I know that's Quiz. That was my rap name. I know he can rap. He's not even thinking about martial arts. Mm. He knows. He, he's from the, like, three blocks away from where we live. Mm. Everybody knew me around there, right? So I know that's Quiz. He can rap. He got his eyes closed. I whip it. Like this. Yeah. But I whoop his ass. And he's on the edge of the stage with his eyes closed, arms folded. He's totally not ready. So you also take advantage of that. I'm like, bro, I really don't want to fight the whole time. I'm like, I'm like him up. <laughs> bro, I really don't want to fight. That's I know true. you don't. And at that point, that was it. <laughs> Here it comes, and this is where I'm defending myself. Now the time I know you don't because I will fuck. And as soon as that came out, I didn't even use you no know, technique or with it like that. I just said, hey, pushed him off the sit off the stage. I uh, boom hits the ground. And then he looks up. I'm coming behind. I'm right behind this wall, coming down. Now you're about to catch it. Boom. My friend said, I and I, 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 I know I didn't. They, they said I did this. This is a clown. That when I hit him with the knee, I was holding my leg like this and hit him. I said, no, sir. Hey, we in the pool. Right. <laughs> but I did hit him with the knee. Boom! Came down. I said, let's go. Me and my boys left. But that's the thing. You got to use everything so, to your advantage. That's what I said. First, I'm going to put my hands up. Man, I don't want to. So I can get them up and ready. You know what I'm saying? So all that's part of the game. You know, it's okay. Don't let your ego get you in a position no. where you... You were in a better position, but you're right. Yeah, I'm all the time when I was working at the at the flame. You know what I'm saying? Most in the fighting, and they, the customer get the best of them because they be like, well, what's up there? All that? I'm not gonna do all that. Right. I'm like, man, don't beat me up, bro. That's the first thing I always say. Bro, I don't want to get beat up. I said that to a, a, a dude who came to the house. Two gas men came to the house. One came, he had his ID, his uniform <laughs> on. The other one just got on some jeans. White dude got on jeans, t shirt. <coughs> hey, came to uh, check your gas. I said, Hey, I don't see a uniform. Where's your ID? Man, you see the truck? I said, That's him in the truck. Right. Y'all didn't come together. Where's your? I said, No. He said, Man, you know, this is ridiculous. I said, Oh, don't. don't. I walk outside, close the door. Said, don't, don't beat me up. <laughs> yeah, you know, why? Because I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna tear his ass. He would have never known where he even came from. Yeah. Don't beat me up. I'm gonna give you some extra courage. That's right. What I, that's what I like. Right. I exactly. want you to feel extra confident. <laughs> and I'm like, I know this ain't no gas, man. So who is it mm. coming like that? And he, but he had the sense to walk away. I know that's right. He saw how things were playing out when I closed the door and walked close. That was his... I'm like, well, what, what are you saying? Don't beat me up. That was his white Jesus. Yeah, right. His white Jesus. I'm going to tell you something else. I think the queen been dead about six, seven years now. You know what I'm saying? They just bust her out. Just well, now, yeah. So when you have leaders, 
We have you leaders of countries. Apologize, but could you do a discussion on the term yeah. cyberpunk? You never have I've people. Heard you talk about it, but not in depth. When, when you have, when you have, when you have leaders who transition, die, whatever you want, uh, they're usually gone before the public oh, yeah. hears that. Of course. So they pick, they pick their time. She probably was gone at least days, days before. Yeah, they yeah. got shit. They had to get shit in order. Yeah, get the right thing. Of course. People in place. Get people right. in place right. So that's what's gonna happen when any you know, of us die. We ain't letting y'all know right away. Well, when I die, I'm. We ain't letting y'all party. know. We ain't, I want to get that. We gonna party on the inside, but we ain't gonna let y'all know. No, nah, like I want y'all to be holding me up, <laughs> dancing with me. Well, nah, that's morbid. That's sick. <laughs> uh, when will you be doing the training on the use of casting? We, we dealt with that, and, and uh, yeah, uh, get never unarmed, and you will see you're never unarmed. Even if you just got a cast iron skill. Right, and remember, these aren't weapons; these are tools. Because you should be training. You should be the weapon. And anything you touch yeah. is a tool. This is completely off topic, and I apologize, but could you do a discussion on the term cyberpunk? It's cyberpunk and uh, for us, but cyberpunk, we'll deal with that later because that's a whole episode in itself. Is cyberpunk and cyberpunk the same thing? No. Okay. Cyberpunk, cyberpunk really got... I thought it was online bullying. It got, no, it got, ah, it got lowered to uh just mirror shades and like the matrix okay okay that's cyberpunk originally cyberpunk was talking about the corporations taking over it was very the punk was strong in it so it's talking about uh it's anti-government it was anti-corporation it was that's cyberpunk cyberpunk is taking cyberpunk and looking at it through an African slash black lens. Okay. And why I say African slash black, we're all African. Some people don't recognize that as a black. If, if you get if you're of African descent, you're from the United States, Carib the Caribbean, the continent of Africa, the UK, and you're black, and you're looking at it from that lens, that cyber funk, because usually the unless you're trying to be like the, the, the white man. You're usually going to be writing. It's going to be more spiritual. It's going to be more depth to it, or whatever. And if you are black and writing, trying your best to write like a, a, a white man, your shit just suck anyway. Mm -hmm. and, and in the old day, I don't say suck. It may be great, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not cyberpunk, and it's not. It's not for me. Um, now, in the back in the day, the old writers. Uh, I did an article on that. Like you know, some some one who is an idol of mine, if, if you say idol, somebody I admire greatly, I should say. Uh, they were writing for white people because we weren't reading it because we didn't see ourselves in it. So they were who were they writing for? They were writing for a white audience. I got lucky enough to come and, and write for a black audience. White people read my stuff. I used to get disturbed because white people used to be big up in my stuff. Saying, I'm the next Michael Moorcock. I'm the next Robert E. Howard who wrote Conan. I'm the, and I was like, damn, I, I need to hear I'm the next Charles Saunders who created Sword and Soul. I'm the next, some, some black writer. So I was like, damn. So I said, well, you know what? I'm going to just keep on banging until I get myself to, until I became uh, just so you know, tired of uh, just hearing science fiction and fantasy at one point made me nauseous. I think you remember when I said I couldn't, I couldn't do it no more. I couldn't look at a science fiction show. I couldn't read science fiction and fantasy no more. I couldn't write it no more. It would make me nauseous. And I think it was just because there was no, the politics in it was so weak, right? Except my own stuff. Hmm. And then I, you know, people not understanding what what was you know Baba doing? He teaching us how to shoot, survive. But he right, not none of y'all, but you know, he, but he 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 writing this stuff and, and wearing top hats. First of all, I wasn't wearing no goddamn top hats. So the nigga that said that was totally wrong and on some bullshit. But you wear top hat as well today? I could, but I'm not T Pain. T Pain wear the top hat. I, I if I wear a top hat. First of all, a, a, a 
a top hat is actually safer than that hat. You're talking about self defense because they don't have that big brim to, to, to pull and use, right? But I would look pretentious as shit if I'm on my top hat. I can see what. Oh, when I was <laughs> no, I cannot. So when I was skinny, I'd be looking like the peanut, uh, with the Spanish peanut, <laughs> uh, you know, sitting there. All right. So anyway, but that that's that's it on that. Uh, yes, cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yes. All right. Sword and not sword and sorcery, sword and soul. You can look those things up and you'll see the difference. You'll see if you see articles on chronicles of harriet.com. That's me. October 1st, we will be having a special warrior class. Uh, I'm not sure we want to title it yet. Yeah, we, we don't want to title it yet, but we will be. We see you, on the, we see you in the chat too, Doc, Doc Pagans. Yeah, so we'll be doing some work with Doc, uh, Doc Pagans on. Um, some things that's all i'll say for right now okay um, urban survival preparedness yes so we will have a special warrior class then as long as it's okay for us to film in there doc we'll make sure we're not filming certain stuff so right you know your stuff ain't just what we plan on there. doing is i'm gonna let baba shoot me in the arm and then patch it up live on warrior class well pray for him now i can shoot him in the arm <laughs> the patching part no anesthesia. I'm not go. We're gonna do this like it will be out there. So we just... well, you won't need anesthesia. No, no, because I wouldn't have that out there. In, if no, when I shoot there. you, in, and when I shoot you in the arm, this is gonna be just dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need anesthesia. All right. So uh, love y'all, and uh, we'll give you all more information on that for October first. Uh, we gotta talk with Doc on how we're gonna do that. We may go off to the side and shoot that thing. Yeah, um, while we're doing, go ahead, jump back in the class or whatever. Okay. Um, more updates to come. So, yep, more updates to come. Love y'all. Stay black or whatever it is that you may be. Be safe out here. Peace. And we'll see you all next Saturday. Same back time, same back shop. Peace. I don't know if that's a, it's legal to say that because that's they my old. They might, yeah, they might, they might get us. But if you sue me, you ain't getting shit because I ain't got no money. So, long live you know. Queen. Hey. Latifah. Long live Queen Latifah. <laughs> Lizzie's in a box. Peace. Oh, my goodness. Be safe, y'all. I looked up.